Hey, y'all. Um, real quick. Real, real, real quick. I'm in, I'm in my car. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. Somehow I put the blinkers on. Okay. Y'all, I'm in my car right now. Um, and I just feel really convicted. I feel like, I feel like God's convicting me. And so, um, this is bad lighting. I don't have my microphone. I just got from the gym. I'm tired, but I'm driving. And I just had a really interesting revelation. One that I think I've had before. I've heard it before. I heard it in a message one time and it just came back to me. So as you guys know, there's so much going on about this talk of free shit, free speech and censorship, right? I mean, the whole world, well, not the whole world, but a lot of people are upset because Parler's being banned, Trump was banned from Twitter, a group of mostly conservative Christians, I just want to make it clear, being politically conservative and Christian is not one and the same thing, but there are Christians who are concerned about their freedom of speech. And so I made a post, a long Facebook post. Actually, I made three, but I was taking a break on from Facebook in particular because it's so toxic um, and Twitter. But I made a I made a post. I made a post about free speech earlier, and I just kind of gave my my big idea of what how I view free speech and the government's role and in private industry. It's on my personal Facebook page if you really want to read it. And that was pretty well thought out. But then I made two snarky posts after that. You know, I, I'm not even going to tell you what they are, but they're super snarky and just very sarcastic and just kind of giving my opinion of what everything's going on. And as I was sitting there, I was kind of thinking, I'm working out. Like, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm doing my squats. And I just feel like, just like, dang, I shouldn't really post that, you know, like. For one, I'm supposed to be taking a break from social media and I'm back on there. And then for two, I'm just being like, I'm not helping. Maybe the first post might add some historical clarity, but the other two posts are just mean, right? And I thought to myself, I'm thinking of something, two very different people on the theological scale came to mind. And I don't say this very likely, but uh, very often, because I think a lot of people overuse it. And I really feel like this was something where God was just telling me, to take those down and here's why like John MacArthur who is a reformed theologian said something um, a while ago a couple years ago race when it came to the idea of freedom of speech he said Christians freedom of speech first off is to be speaking in love um, and, and um, he basically listed all the like fruits of the spirit from Galatians and Corinthians first Corinthians And I think that's super true. I mean, my first allegiance is the kingdom of God. And if you're not a Christian, this video just seems silly. You're like, one, there's no God. And two, what is this kingdom? But the moment I was baptized, my citizenship changed. And the person who said that is Tim Gumbus, who's not a Reformed theologian, but more on the other side, you know, would teach something like Christus Victor than penal substitution. Both... Christians indeed, but just um, both of them know that there's something more to this on how Christians operate. And so many of us are concerned about where our power is politically, no matter where you're on the political scale, making sure our person wins. And depending on how we view the freedom of speech is just depending on what we think and who, who what side we're on, you know. And when you're, and, when, and I just think of in James, I believe chapter three, or maybe it's chapter two, uh, where and I guess I could have checked before I did this video, but you know the apostle James talks about the power of the tongue and how it can, you know, it can just destroy lives. Like this, you have to really be careful what you're speaking and what you're saying. You know, you could you could really be speaking life and death into people and in situations. And I think there's a lot of Christians right now. Um, who are speaking death over our country um, instead of speaking in love and truth and kindness and patience, the fruits of the spirit are they're basically just using their uh, tongue to get what they want. You know, they say the pen is mightier than the sword, and it really is. It doesn't take much. You know, I was just thinking like when it comes to the idea right in Genesis, the snake 
you know, if you believe the snake is Satan, if you if you read it that way, or some type of uh, Elohim, some spiritual being with some type of demonic power, or if you take it metaphorically, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care. What is interesting is that he doesn't like take over Eve's body by wrapping around her and then using his snake tail to make her eat the apple. He just convinces her with his mouth. The power of life and death in the tongue is real. And so I just, I don't know, man. I just, I had to delete those posts because they, they weren't good. They weren't good. They were actually not helping. I think I'm going to keep the other posts unless I feel convicted otherwise, but I feel like that's a little more helpful. But actually, I'm going to edit it because I did add a couple snarky lines in there. Um, but... I think I need to be a little more careful with my tongue. Um, and so this is my idea of just freedom of speech. I might do a video, though, on censorship and freedom of speech from the First Amendment. Um, but for now, this is it, guys. I hope you guys are having a, having a good night. It's night here in Alaska. It's like almost midnight. Um, and I need to go to bed. So I'll catch you guys later.